But I guess when you can't find any news to match your delusions, you'll make anything else news, including what Trump actually talked about 15 years ago. About 13 years ago, I was seriously in trouble. I was billions of dollars in debt. But I fought back, and I won bigly. <laughs> Good job, Times. You really dropped a bombshell. A, a bombshell revealed to millions of people on national TV over a decade and a half ago. What other bombshells will the Times glean from reality TV? That Kim Kardashian once wore leggings? That one of, the, one of the real housewives threw a glass of Merlot at another real housewife? <laughs> that someone on Survivor ate a bug? <laughs> so is it journalism when someone gives you someone else's tax returns? It's odd. No one in the media minds how the Times got them. But under Trump, real news is skipped for the old news. Because when the real news is good, the media's got to find conflict in the past to make their present bearable. If only there were a drug. So, Trump lost a bunch of money in the 80s. How is that news? I mean, I'm so tired of the New York Times packaging old news like it's new. What are you going to tell me next? Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait? The Berlin Wall came down? How about Millie Vanilli was actually lip syncing? The media thinks we're idiots. You should talk to your doctor. You may be suffering from common sense. What's that? Common sense is when you recognize old news for what it is and see right through the media's attempt to repackage old garbage to push their own biased narrative. Take a look at this. What do you see? See, this is from 1990. Isn't there a way to make this new and fresh again? There is, thanks to Throw It Backs. Throw It Backs tricks your brain into thinking decades-old mundane news items are a modern-day scandal by erasing all of your long-term memory. So you'll be blown away even by the most stale reporting. How does it do that? I already told you, by erasing all of your long-term memory. Wait a minute, I already took it? Who are you anyway? I'm the announcer. We've been doing the same thing for three years. Really? Yes, we do an ad about a drug for almost every monologue. Geez, this stuff really works. Wow, this is unbelievable. Did you know Trump has been married three times? Also, it says here he loves to golf. <laughs> He's never going to be elected. He was elected in 2016. Oh. I must have missed that. And look at this. It says the whole city is getting indoor plumbing. Now, where's all the water going to come from? And how about this? Women expected to get the right to vote. <laughs> I don't like that at all. You're an idiot. I'm leaving you. Who are you? I'm your wife. Someone married me. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, product whose name I forget. So get Throw It Backs today, making everything old brand new again. The point is, the media, drenched in its own failure, has to reanimate old fears. Remember that story from months ago about Trump never leaving office? Well, it's back. He doesn't have any intention of committing to a peaceful transition of power. How would you get a president to leave if he just said, I ain't leaving? Wait, wasn't it Joy who wouldn't leave following some bad stuff revealed about her past? Hmm. If only the media could find two words they could repeat over and over again. Folks, a constitutional crisis. A constitutional crisis. Do you agree with uh, Congressman Nadler, Chairman Nadler, that, uh, that we're in a constitutional crisis? Uh, we are. Ever wonder what a constitutional crisis looks like? Well, open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Don Lemon. 